with Christensen Service. We're doing some uh, removing some etch marks and doing some polishing on the stone. Here's an example of our equipment. We're actually using some uh, what we call diamond pads. They're diamond pads. They're on a resin pad, and these are used to help smooth out the stone. We take these and we've already started. As you can see over here, there's there's mild etching over here. Well, we can go through and take all of this out by smoothing out the stone. And then after that, we will start bringing it up to a polish. So here's an example of how we begin. So I always like to put the machine right on the surface like this, and then we start it off. And the reason why we leave it on the surface is it helps to keep everything smooth and flush. And we just kind of go over this until it feels real smooth. We're starting off with, with what we call the lower grit pads. And from the lower grit pads, we go up from there. And that's all we're doing. Now we're on the second step of a, like a four step process. So each step we're going a little bit wider than the previous step. Because we're trying to feather out the polishing. So we're just trying to feather it all out. Now because you have tiles where you have one tile that adjoins to the other tile, you're going to have lippage. So you may not get a perfectly smooth cut with the pad. So, but sometimes you have to kind of play with it to try to make sure that you get an even polish. But if you notice how I'm going just a little bit wider than the other cut, just like that. Now if we wanted to, we can go by and we could flatten out all the tiles. See that's starting to dry out now. We need a little bit more water. Don't need a lot of water to do this, just a little bit. Just to make sure that uh, that helps keep down on the friction from the polishing pad. Rudy will love this. <laughs> that guy. Just going by and just doing a gradual polishing. 